Correct. And with heat in the triple digits, farms all across our viewing area continue to pay close attention to their crops, making sure that they survive in these conditions. Desiree Montilla continues our team coverage with more now on how farmers are dealing with this hot, dry weather. Desi. Kurt, Chesterfield Berry Farm tells us they are not seeing any major impacts at this moment, but they do tell us they are relying on their drip irrigation system to help their crops survive this heat wave. Now we're on to the strawberries and fruits and vegetables. Strawberry picking season is underway at Chesterfield Berry Farm. Just seeing the people come out and have a good time, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's more like a uh, it's more like an experience. A busy time, owner Aaron Good says they're working through, especially through the dry and hot weather we're seeing all across Central Virginia. We've almost finished the strawberries, but the heat's not good for you know the strawberries. I mean, they don't need this much heat. The farm is keeping up with the heat with help from their drip irrigation systems. It makes for well, a stressful uh, day or week or whatever because you don't get any breaks. You're pumping water. Uh, we use a lot of drip irrigation. So we have to irrigate just about all of our crops when it's dry and hot like this. But at some point, good hopes they can catch a break from these conditions. But we've still got water in our ponds, uh, the lakes for the irrigation was still OK right now. But if, you know, if it keeps up, we will we'll get low. Mount Olympus Farm in Ruther Glen tells us even though this weather has an impact, it provides positive benefits for them. The owner tells us they don't lose picking time to wet conditions and they can also control the amount of water their plants are getting. We're being cautious with how much water we use and of course we use a lot of drip irrigation which uses a lot less water than the impact sprinklers. Despite the heat wave, Good says they're staying on track with their crops and plans in the coming months. We're starting to plant pumpkins and everything but you know we'll have to water them too if it doesn't rain but you know not any major impacts right now. Chesterfield Berry Farm is not only on track with their pumpkins, they also tell me they're preparing for sunflower season, which is starting in July. Live from the Weather Garden, Desiree Montilla, 12 on your side. Desiree, thank you.